All right, guys, welcome back to the show. Of course, it's still Nollywood Tuesday, and we have our guest in the studio with us. Now, our guest is a Nigerian film director, editor, screenwriter, and producer with a career spanning over a decade and a half. He's got his first movie credit in 1998, where he co-produced Two Good Men. Now, speaking of men, though, one of the films he directed is said to be one of the highest grossing Nollywood films in the cinema right now. Can you guess which film? Oh, can you guess who he is? <laughs> well, suspense over. His name is Moses Inwang. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And of course, congratulations Thank on you. having one of the highest grossing films. Or is it the highest? It's highest the highest grossing right, right now. It's right highest. now. Say it's right now in for Nigeria. films in the cinemas. Fantastic. Is, and that's yeah. uh, Merriman too, of course. Yeah. How does oh, that make you feel? feel? Well, uh, <laughs> it's always a great feeling to be on top, you know. And uh, <laughs> we, 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 we want to keep the figures rising. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you are one of the. Why are you over there? Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Because you guys cannot accommodate me there. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Thank you so much for coming. I mean, you've been on this. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So um, you're one of those people they named uh, top 10 directors of 2019. Mm -hmm. I know it feels good too. Yeah. Definitely. It does. <laughs> Always does. Always does. Yeah. And you have uh, one of your movies right there on Netflix? Yeah, Crazy People. Crazy mm. people, mm. interesting stuff. All right, so I mean, you, you have always been working and doing all of this. Even the uh, the premiere I came for the other time, uh, that we really enjoyed the reason you came here the other time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was telling you, yeah. cold feet. Yeah, yeah. So now let's talk. I mean, how do you intend to sustain all of this uh, that you have accomplished? Um, the only way to do that is to keep putting out great films, keep working hard, keep keeping your focus, you know, uh, don't compromise on your standard, just keep doing your thing, making sure it's the, the best of the best that you put out there. Hmm. Yeah, that's that. how you sustain the tempo. Okay. okay, talking about the best of the best, what makes Moses N. Wang um, different from every other Nollywood producers? Uh, it's just that I just have a little more swag than every other person. Wow! <laughs> you do say so yourself. Okay. I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> so is that well, all? Nah, I don't think I'm different. I think we're all striving for excellence. I know a bunch of producers that are doing really, really great films. And we're all just trying to tell our stories and um, tell it in a fantastic, in an African way. Mm. Uh, and put it out the best way that we can. Um, so... I don't like to see myself as different, you know, even though I like to do my own, my own kind of stories, my own stuff. Yeah. But then we are, we are all in here trying to do well. So I did watch um, Merry Men too, and I, not I noticed that you kind of like action. I mean, most of your films mm, have yes. uh, action themes. And uh, how do you do that? Do you have stuntsmen that you use, or it's just the actors that are doing it themselves? We have stunt choreographers that um, help the actors get in shape. Oh, and okay. Then, uh, yes, I'm also a stunt choreographer myself. Oh, really? Yeah. And so, yeah, we just get around to get it to So happen. you train people on how to perform the stunts? Yeah, fight, stunts, shooting, and all that. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Okay, if, if you could look at the Nollywood industry since when you started as a movie producer, director, <coughs> what would you love to change right about now? Uh... I think I, I think there's still a lot of mediocrity embedded in the the industry. Mm. Um, I, that I would love to change um, capacity building. A lot of the untrained um, filmmakers, a lot of untrained actors. Um, that should change. Definitely change. Um, we need people in there who know what they're doing, mm -hmm. who are skillful, and who will um, because it doesn't a director himself can make a film you need all of all of everyone in the crew yeah. and you need pro pro professional actors as well as talented actors and so i think capacity building is what we should intensify more on and then um having said that the other thing is funding funding is always the problem mm. in fact funding solves every other thing funding solves capacity building funding solves everything so if we get the right Kind it's still of a funding problem. that we need. Yes, 
Because I'm surprised to hear that because it's most a problem of, everywhere, even uh, in Hollywood. Even all the <laughs> all nowadays, all the films we're hearing from Nollywood are breaking the box office, making so much well, returns. Well, they're making. Uh, you you don't know how much was put in. You only you, the only figure you hear is how much they're making. Mm. They're going there's going to be deductions. You know, after that, then we can now tell if this if there was a break even on that. So was Merriman too profitable? I honestly I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Mary Man 2 has, has made over 200 million. Okay. And how much did you cost? Now, I'm not the producer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much was invested. I know it's, a, it's over 100 million okay. that was put into the film. I know it's over, way over 100 million. Hmm. You know, so um, if, you've, if you've made just 200 million and there's going to be deductions and taxes and all that, uh, then, you know I mean, I guess you. I, yeah. yeah, so I would like to actually take a cue from this. Uh, you know, we've been talking about structure forever, and uh, you can actually say that this is like, you know, putting the structure in place, doing mm. the thing, uh, funding, being on ground, mm. and all of these things, government coming into the industry to, to helping yeah. and all of this. But then, when you think about it, do you think that we would actually get there? Because it's almost like, you know, we keep saying it's steps over and over. are being taken, but. <laughs> We've been on this thing for, for a while. I think we will definitely get there. I think we are actually on the right track. There's a lot of interventions um, with funding, both government and um, interventions from other places, from other organizations coming through for Nollywood. And um, the voice, our voices are getting louder these days. Our works are going out there and the, the focus is actually on Nollywood this, at, at this point in time mm -hmm. from all over the world. So yes, we are we definitely, we are really, really, we are on the bright, we are on, on the path to where we want to be. Oh, yes, so we'll get there. <laughs> That's um, yeah. Moses' promised land <laughs> conversation. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a break now. And when we come back, we'll still have our guests right here to talk some more. Moses in wine. let's go. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, we still have the director of that particular movie, Merry Men 2, Moses mm -hmm. Inwang is in the building. And of course, we checked out Code Fit earlier. You directed that. Yeah. Uh, so, people would like to see who the guy is behind all of this. Yeah. This is how you see me on radio. <laughs> <laughs> because right now, don't Because you see me with all my shades. So, 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 that they can stop, me. so that they can stop you on the road to say, please, Honestly, I want to be in your movies. Someone actually met me somewhere at the cinema and said, um, I know you. I'm like, how, why? How do you? I, I'm not on the moves or anything. He said, yeah, because you always wear this shit. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So, so we're for real. So, we're so this isn't the real me right now. Okay, why? Oh. Mm. Shooting? This without my shades. Oh. oh you feel yeah. exposed. I feel so exposed. I, I want feel to so break naked. the table Thank a you little this for us. Oh yeah, break. Yeah, you know, because you, earlier on you said, um, you know, we need to tell more of the Nigerian stories and tell, talk more about our culture. Ah, but when I watch Merry Men too, I see guns, I see fast, fast cars. cars. You know, yeah. when I watch your films, I see all of that. And I'm like, is that the real Nigerian story? The fast cars are owned by who? Americans. Well, <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I mean, when we, the when guns we think, were, where when we we think Nigerian guns stories, from? we think of, you know, village, village Calabar, setting, that's the or, only story we tell as Africans, as Nigerians. See, that's the thing they want to, this, that's the thing the Western world portrays of us hmm. in CNN, on their Western media. Do you understand? Poverty, uh, afflictions. Primitive. Yeah. Bond. Yeah, people in huts and mud houses. <laughs> Is that what we should portray <laughs> ourselves to? <laughs> but, but when we still still talking about this conversation, don't you think things like that um, were the reason why um, Oscar rejected, aside the language? No, it was just the language. The language. Yeah, because so it has to be, uh, I think, about 85% yeah. um, foreign so, language. So what if we give them the language, don't give them all those calabash and stream? Do you think they would just <laughs> <laughs> the Oscars would just give them calabash and stream and um, people in in in? But in, there's a way to portray in, that and yeah. make it look English, nice. It will still be rejected. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, let's talk about uh, your work being on Netflix and uh, it's almost like these days, I don't know, maybe people are beginning to like get disappointed. They're not like, oh, Netflix. Like, like, like. Mm. So um, people have been questioning certain movies getting on Netflix, like oh, what, is the what is the criterion or what are the criteria Just of getting your movies right there on Netflix? because it's beginning to look like somebody was talking about a certain movie this morning, I think it was Vendor or something like, how did it even, how did it even find its way there? Um, I think the criteria would be technical, um, um, 
specifications. Mm. You know, if you meet it, you meet it. They don't care about your story because they don't really know what the story, <laughs> what story. They, do, mm. they shouldn't tell you what story to tell mm -hmm. the world. Mm. And then they, they are aggregators. And if the aggregators that Netflix has assigned feel that this, this uh, um, content is good enough, then Netflix will put it on and pay for it. Mm -hmm. You know, so I mean, as long as it meets the technical specifications, boom. But what's the difference between uh, when Netflix sponsors the film and when you put it on afterwards? Do they still pay you when you put it on afterwards? Yeah, of course. It's licensing. It, it's it's called licensing. You, they get it for a period of time, maybe a year or two, okay. exclusively or non-exclusively. Oh, okay. okay. But then when it's uh, when they pay you, when they give you that big money to make a film, <laughs> or after you've made the film, they acquire it. That's acquisition. Mm -hmm. That means it's their property. It's a Netflix film. Mm -hmm. You can't put it anywhere else. You can't do nothing with it. Mm. They'll probably let you release it in the cinemas, uh, and that'll be it, you know? After that, you, that's it. It's your property. Okay. Okay. Ra right. Wrapping up the interview, quick one. What is the toughest or the most challenging movie you've ever directed? Merryman. Why? Merry <laughs> because of the guns and the cars. Two? Nah. Because Merry Men is a film of five guys or five ladies, and most of the time they are on set. And Merry Men is a film of about 200 scenes, 200 plus scenes, 200 plus scenes with about 10 people on set on almost every every of the scenes. To mm. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's massive. Ten stars. I was ah. expecting Merry Men 3. Ten egos. <laughs> <laughs> Ten alter egos. Wow. But we're expecting Merry Men 3 because yes. this is 1 and 2. We are? I expect Merry Men 3. Woo! Okay, you heard it here Sooner first. Sooner than. <laughs> yes, thank you very much wow. for, you for coming through. Yes, guys, that was only just one half of the show. Mm -hmm.